an organization on a mission to make live music accessible to children on the autism spectrum on today's In This Together, presented by Target. Hey guys, welcome to In This Together. I'm Alejandro Alba. Attending live performances can prove challenging for some children with autism. That's why one company in New York City has created a safe space that celebrates live music for anyone to enjoy. Robert Arcordino was a first-year medical student when he brought music for autism to the U.S. in 2007, with the goal of creating a safe space for individuals with autism and their families. We created a program that really caters to um, the person with autism. Uh, we did this 13 years ago when there was much less of this uh, in the marketplace, and we're proud that we predate a lot of um, what's come since, uh, be it um, autism-friendly movies, and these are sensory-friendly movies and sensory-friendly you know, concerts with major symphony orchestras and even Broadway shows. We have this judgment-free space for interactive participatory concerts, which we've now spread um, to four states um, across the country. Our concerts are free for individuals with autism and their families to attend, and we've just had such a wonderful response uh, to this programming. Following the global pandemic, Music for Autism quickly pivoted to online performances. The program now offers free performances every two weeks throughout the fall. What we needed to adapt right away uh, was how we would make the concerts participatory, how, you know, we can't give out percussion instruments. Instead of handing out percussion instruments, how can we have people use items at home to create percussion instruments with, with you know, items that they just happen to have? And we're just so grateful to all of the artists who have worked with us because they have just been so generous with their talents and humanity uh, in making this possible. Shamel Lawrence says music for autism has been an invaluable resource for his son, Shamel Jr. He's in second grade this year. He's high function autism, um, where he was diagnosed with. So he was a non-verbal child. Uh, he was delayed, but he did everything else before time. He didn't even fall. He went straight to walking. Now <laughs> we can't shut him up. He talk. <laughs> he talk. With all the great support and all these programs like music for autism help develop him out, you know, and and and. and make him, you know, blast into a um, young man that he is. Most importantly, the opportunity to be themselves in a welcoming environment is what matters most to kids and parents alike. A lot of families uh, with kids with severe disability, they, they don't take their kids out because they instead of being judged and all this stuff. But I think when you have places like this where, you know, it's already known what could be possible expected and accommodation. I think that's good. And I think it helps kids to be able to, you know, have, um, how did I say, um, a, mo a normal life like any other child. For Robert, hearing stories like this from parents is always the most rewarding part of Music for Autism's mission. You know, just seeing the families uh, and hearing the reactions of family members uh, who have, who essentially tell us that they have never felt so welcomed uh, in a public space. It's pretty an, an incredible thing to hear. We get weekly emails about starting, you know, brick and mortar concerts in different cities and states, which is, which is a huge lift for us. We've been able to reach all of these families who otherwise wouldn't have been able to uh, be a part of our programs and work with musicians who aren't in geographies where we typically have concerts. So we've been able to engage a whole host of, of, of a wider range of families and musicians in a, in a broader uh, geography across the country, which has been a, a really lovely silver lining. Such so good that when in the future we go back to uh, in-person programs, which we really look forward to, we're going to keep an element of virtual programs as part of what Music for Autism does always. That's it for today. We'd like to thank Target for sponsoring this episode as part of their belief in good we can all afford. Thank you so much for watching and remember, we're all in this together.